Ellie De La Cruz is one of the most exciting rookies that baseball has ever seen. This kid can do it all. He can run, he can hit for power, he's got great hands. A 6'5 shortstop who's also the fastest guy in all of baseball. In just the first couple months of his career, he shattered MLB records on both sides of the field and single-handedly reignited the red season. He's going home! The throw! He's still home! With the power to hit 500 foot home runs while also having the fastest sprint speed in baseball, Ellie De La Cruz is an absolute phenom. However, just a few years ago, he was basically unknown and on the verge of quitting baseball forever. And despite his amazing start, the rest of his first MLB season was pretty underwhelming. So to really understand his story, we have to go back to where it all started in the first place. He was born in the Dominican Republic in 2002, starting his baseball journey at a very young age. And when he was just six years old, he moved away from his family to start playing at the lowest level. But after only a few years, it became evident that Cruz needed a bigger challenge. So when he was 10 years old, he took his talent to the much bigger city of Santo Domingo. It was here that he would begin training at the same baseball academy as Juan Soto, and he was finally starting to get some recognition. However, over the next few years, De La Cruz started having some serious doubts about his future. By the time he was 16 years old, many of his peers had already begun signing major league contracts, but for Cruz, this was not the case. Several scouts agreed that he was too skinny and not strong like the others, so he wasn't really on the radar. So at this point, De La Cruz was starting to realize that his time was running out and he now says that I was really close to giving everything up and going back home. However, what he didn't know was that he was about to receive the biggest opportunity of his entire life. In 2018, several MLB scouts came to a showcase in Santo Domingo to watch some of the best players in the academy. And while De La Cruz was not in this group, he was still placed in the showcase to make other players look better. However, after watching him play, one of these scouts decided to give him a chance. And only a day later, De La Cruz ended up signing with the Reds for just $65,000, which is not much, but he didn't really care. He had been waiting for this moment his entire life, and the real journey had only just begun. In the summer of 2019, De La Cruz made his professional debut in the Dominican Summer League when he was 17 years old. And after his first 43 games, he posted a 733 OPS with only one home run. Now, obviously, this is pretty unimpressive on its own, but it gets even worse when you consider that he struck out 45 times with only 14 walks. He was considered to be an average player at best, and once again, his mind was filled with nothing but doubt. So after the next season was cancelled due to the pandemic, he knew that he only had one more chance to prove himself. At the beginning of the 2021 season, De La Cruz had become an entirely different player compared to 2019. After working with a personal trainer and growing an additional 5 inches, De La Cruz was now 6 foot 5 and no longer the skinny kid that he was previously known to be. So when he was promoted to the Arizona Complex League at the beginning of the season, he was described by coaches as a man among boys. Over the course of 11 games, he put up the best numbers of his entire life, hitting 400 with 3 home runs and an OPS over 1200. Not to mention, he was suddenly throwing over 95 miles an hour across the infield. So it finally seemed like everything was coming together for De La Cruz, and one scout said that we've got to get him out of here, he's ready. Over the next couple seasons, De La Cruz continued making his way up through the red system, putting up solid numbers at every level. And during a game in AA, he managed to hit a 512 foot home run, which is still one of the longest home runs in the history of StatCast. However, it wasn't until he made it to AAA that he really started showing off what he could do. At the start of 2023, De La Cruz displayed a massive improvement in his approach at the plate, cutting down on strikeouts and walking at a much higher rate. As a result, De La Cruz had suddenly become the Reds' number one prospect in their entire system. So, as you could imagine, the anticipation for his MLB debut was extremely high. However, nobody really expected the massive impact that he was about to have on the game of baseball itself. On June 6th of 2023, Ellie De La Cruz made his MLB debut at third base, receiving a standing ovation from the entire stadium in his first at bat. When he came on the field in pregame, fans were standing and cheering. There was a loud roar well before first pitch. His first at bat resulted in a walk, but only two innings later, his first hit left his bat at 112 miles an hour. Smash to right center. 
big league hit, and here he goes. Lightning speed. De La Cruz up to second. A stand-up double. Which, believe it or not, was the hardest hit ball by any player on the Reds at that point in the season. However, this record didn't last long, as only a day later he would hit a 458 foot home run that came off the bat at 114.8 miles an hour. So after only two games, De La Cruz was already making a name for himself across the league. But surprisingly, this was only the beginning of one of the most exciting starts to a rookie season in history. One of the major highlights so far came on June 23rd, when he became the youngest player in over 50 years to hit for the cycle. And not to mention, his triple was MLB's fastest home to third time of the season at 10.83 seconds. After that game, Joey Votto said that just watching him move is different. There's almost nobody I've ever seen that moves like him at that height. He calls himself the fastest man in the world, and he's currently ranked first in sprint speed in all of baseball at 30.6 feet per second. So it's no surprise that on July 8th, De La Cruz became the second player in history to steal second, third, and home in the span of just three pitches. Now at this point, De La Cruz was finally getting the attention that he deserved, and after only his second week in the majors, he was awarded player of the week for the National League, hitting 440 with two home runs and six extra base hits. So as you can tell, he's pretty good at breaking records. But the thing that makes it really impressive is that he's doing it on both sides of the field. In a game against the Brewers on July 16th, De La Cruz made a throw from third base that came out of his hand at 97.9 miles an hour. And of course, this became the hardest infield throw in MLB history. But once again, this record didn't last long, because only a few days later he released a 99.8 mile an hour throw that saved a run. Overall, De La Cruz became the first player in MLB history with 40 hits and 15 stolen bases in their first 30 games. And during that time, he hit 328 with 4 home runs and 16 RBIs. So as you can tell, this guy is pretty good at baseball, but really, he's done much more for the game than just breaking records. In 2022, the Reds had one of the worst seasons in franchise history, and at first, it seemed like 2023 was going to be more of the same. However, despite minimal changes to the roster, they're currently on pace for a winning record, and it seems to be a direct result of Eli De La Cruz. After he made his debut, the Reds suddenly won 15 of their next 20 games, including a 12-game win streak that tied their franchise record. And unsurprisingly, Reds fans immediately took notice. Before De La Cruz joined the team, Great American Ballpark saw an average of 19,000 fans in attendance per game in 2023. However, in the 12 games following his debut, that number suddenly jumped up to over 30,000 fans per game. So despite only being a rookie, De La Cruz has reignited an entire team and their fan base, and it's pretty easy to understand why. Whether he's at the plate, on the bases, or on the field, he's always going to be fun to watch. Now admittedly, De La Cruz's rookie season did not end on a positive note. However, it's important to remember that he's still only 21 years old, and he still has an extremely bright future. But for now, it's safe to say that Eli De La Cruz is one of the most exciting rookies in history, and players like him are exactly what baseball needs going forward.